Hi and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we have a 2002, it's a Toyota Corolla, and we have a rattling noise in the front end. If you look very closely right up in the top here, you'll see that this rubber boot here has ripped away. Water gets in there and it destroys the, the joint where the two come together. Alright, so uh, let me show you what that noise sounds like and then we're going to repair it and get this job done. Just a little bit of play in there. Hear that? That little bit of play, when you hit a bump, of course, at a high speed, it's considerably louder. And the way you're going to remove it is we're going to, we're going to attempt to, uh, to try to take it off with an impact gun to try to remove it. Uh, a lot of times it don't come off. So in that case, what we need to do then is we'll have to put a, a wrench on here, and you get a socket with an Allen key. And right inside here is a little tiny, like an Allen key hole that you would put the socket into like this here and then you would hold this in place and you rotate that nut out so uh, let me grab some tools and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes so we're going to try taking it off with some air first and see if we can get it to pop off most of the time it don't but we'll try and as you can see the entire shaft itself is rotating so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, put a wrench on here like this. It's 14 millimeters, just so you know. We're going to take this socket and we're going to put the socket in here like this. And before we do anything, we're just going to spray it with a little bit of penetrating oil so it uh, hopefully comes off a little easier. I don't think so, but we're going to try it anyway. Do is we we'll put the uh, we're going to put the wrench on here like this, and then we're going to put the uh, the socket on here with the Allen to hold it like that, and then we're not going to turn the uh, the ratchet. We're actually going to turn the wrench because if you try to if you try to turn the the Allen key, it's going to strip out and then you're going to have a problem trying to get it off. So just take your time, make sure your Allen key stays straight, and we'll try to get it out without having to cut it off. Alright, so that's the one nut that's out. Now we're going to do the same thing on the bottom one, right down here again. You're not going to try to put the ratchet on there and twist it because you're going to wind up stripping it and it's going to make it a little bit more difficult. Not impossible, but difficult. So uh, let's get the ratchet in there. Make sure it's in as far as it can go. A lot of times the, uh, the Allen key itself will go in and you think it's in all the way and it's not. It's got a lot of rust in there. Just give it a little tap. Make sure it's in all the way. All right, we'll get our ratchet on here. And remember, we're just going to hold the ratchet. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to hold it. So now we got the uh, bolt nuts off. And we'll just unscrew it like by hand. Which is still not coming out. It's still fairly fairly tight. Okay, we got it off. Alright, and what happens is this socket in here is what goes bad. You have a little bit of play in that socket here and it'll give you that, that rumbling noise when you're hitting bumps. It sounds like a bad shock absorber when in reality it's just these stabilizer links. They're fairly cheap. I think they're under 20 bucks a piece and we're going to change both of them. We're going to change this one and we're going to change the one on the other side also. Um, now, I wanted to show you something just in case you run into this problem. Sometimes you'll, you'll try to remove sometimes you'll try to remove this nut and then what happens is this piece here 
the Allen key here strips out. So now if it strips out and you can't get it off, what are you going to do? There's nothing in the back you can hold. You can't get a pair of pliers back there or vice grips. So what you would do is you would take a, a hacksaw. I have an air-powered saw, actually. And you would take the nut and you would cut the nut right down the side like that. If you cut the nut off, you cut it on two sides, the nut falls off, and then you can pull it right out. But in this case, we were able to get it out, so we don't have to worry about that. Let me go around the other side. I'm going to take that one apart, and then we'll, uh, we'll put it back together. Now that we have the other side disconnected and removed also, we're going to put the new stabilizer link in both sides at the same time. What we're going to do is we're just going to catch the top one up here and just catch the nut on it. And we're going to go around to the other side and we're going to do the same thing because we need to lift this sway bar up to get this top bolt through there properly. So let me go connect the other side up and uh, I'll come right back to this side. Okay, now that we got the other side caught, we're going to put this one back through the frame where it belongs and then we'll tighten these nuts up. We're going to do the same thing on this side that we did on the other side because we have to hold these inside here with that Allen wrench. Again, we're going to tighten it just with the wrench. We're not going to tighten it with the, uh, with the impact gun. Not yet, anyway. Tighten it up as far as you can. And remember, we're just tightening the wrench. We're just holding the stud with the other Allen cable. And then once you have the nut down tight, you don't even need this in here anymore. And you make it as tight as you can make it. All right, and then we're going to come up to the top here, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to uh, put the wrench on, and then we're going to get our Allen key inside of it, and then we'll tighten up the wrench. We're not going to turn the Allen key. The Allen key is just to hold it there so it doesn't turn. Right. Take this out. And then just make sure that this is as tight as you could possibly make it. That's it. All right, now we're going to go around to the other side. And we're going to tighten up the other side. And that's it. We're all done. Everything goes well. Your rattling noise will be gone. And... Uh, that's it. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.